thought it was a great debate. Do you have questions? What were you trying to accomplish? I was just trying to communicate with voters about the plan we have to move the state forward, how important it is to stop the Tea Party to begin to reverse the damage, and uh, that I have a record of accomplishing real progress, and I want the voters to know about that. So the, sort of the mantra has been that maybe you're perhaps the inevitable candidate. Do you feel that, that that's still the case, or do you feel that there's sort of uh, a surge coming behind you? I, I'm just focused on communicating with voters on a daily basis about the difference between our forward-looking vision and a very backwards direction the Tea Party's been taking this state in. And I'm really excited. Our campaign has been growing every day. We've had great grassroots response to it. So um, as with every campaign, you focus on the next day and you focus on moving forward. And I just, again, want to be able to communicate with as many voters as I can. Early on in the debate, you said something about the difference between the question and you said you did not sign a pledge. But what was your stance on the issue before then? I, I think the question had to do with the fact that I, I ran for the state senate in 2002 and I didn't take uh, what's known as the New Hampshire Pledge. Um, I didn't um, actively oppose an income tax, uh, but in 2004 through uh, 2010 uh, in the state senate I've always opposed an income or sales tax. I would veto one if it came to my desk as governor. We can go if you're done. <laughs> oh, I, I asked uh, Mrs. Silly uh, whether she considered uh, Hugh Gallen, Jean Shaheen, and John Lynch zombies. And she said it was lighthearted ad and the pledge is just a gimmick. Uh, in my lifetime, no Democrats won without taking the pledge, although Jean, on her third go round, and the last Democrat. Was it less than we got less than who took who wouldn't take the pledge? You got less than forty percent. So is the pledge just a gimmick? I think it's really important for voters to have clarity from candidates who they are considering. And so, just as voters care about a whole lot of other issues that we are very clear about, um, they care about where New Hampshire candidates are on the income or sales tax because. Uh, as I do, most of them think it would be bad for our economy and bad for our middle class families. So just as I tell them where I am on any number of issues, I think it's really important to tell voters where we are on an income or sales tax because they care about it and they want to know and they deserve to know. You think Jackie's being clear? I, no. And it's not a gimmick, the pledge. Uh, I, I think it's, I, I'm running to make I'm running for governor to make progress, not to make a point. And I think it is really important, again, to communicate with voters. And, um, you know, people can, can use all the semantics they want, but at the end of the day, families are trying to figure out how they're going to afford their tax bills. They're struggling with property taxes. There's work we need to do to, um, to decrease the property tax burden. But overall, they are worrying about how they're going to make ends meet and move forward and make progress. And so they deserve candidates who will tell them what they're going to do. The next governor, the day after he or she is elected, is going to need to start planning the budget because you have to present it by February 15th. That's what's required by New Hampshire law. So we don't have a lot of time to have a conversation and then decide what we're going to do. The next governor needs to have a plan for how we're going to build a budget. And I have a plan to defeat the Tea Party and then to move forward with an innovation jobs plan and then a plan about how we're going to begin to reverse the damage that the Tea Party has done to our state. And that's what I'm really focused on. I think it's an obligation now as a candidate then to state how you feel specifically on that issue and is she engaging in sort of a gimmick by saying uh, Let's just have a conversation, not coming right out and saying how she feels. Again, I'm really focused on my communications with okay. the voters. After, starting tomorrow morning, you got five days left. Yep. Uh, your campaign put out its first contrast sort of press release today. What's the state of this campaign? Why did you feel the need to, to do that against Jackie today? Think she's gaining momentum? What's, what's going on? 
I think all good campaigns plan for the last few days, and uh, we get questions on a daily basis um, at ice cream socials, at house parties. We've done about 65 house parties. We've done nine ice cream socials uh, in the month of August. I get asked on a daily basis as voters are tuning into this campaign about what our differences are, and so I've been responding to those questions all the way along. Um, but you know, as you get towards the end of uh, campaigns right before Election Day, after uh, Labor Day, you begin to focus your communications and make sure that as people are tuning in, uh, they have resources to help them make their decisions. Do you accept the premise that this is a really close election? I assume every election is a really close election. I never take anything for granted. Again, you work as hard as you can to communicate with voters and help them understand why you think you're the best candidate, and I've been really pleased with the response we've been getting. You probably won't get to ask you this question on Tuesday, so I want to ask you now. I mean, you spent like a million dollars, and your opponent has not even spent anything close to that, and yet this race is really tight. Do you feel like you spent the money the best way you could possibly do? Well, I, I, I guess um, if you're talking about polling that uh, took place before I went up on TV, uh, what, what we know is that when you um, have run a statewide campaign before, uh, you go up on TV so that you can communicate with voters and you have a plan and you have a strategy and we're following the strategy we set out so I think we're doing fine. For the record, I'm not complaining about TV ads. I, I'm sure you're not. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you're not. <laughs> All right. Can we wrap up? Yeah. I think we're good. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. You know, clear. <laughs> See you. Keep going. Take it easy. Once again, thank you very much. You're welcome. I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'm sure you will. <laughs>